Hey guys, Brad Pritchett here, standing outside of the Wiley Theater, where currently Dallas Theater Center is presenting its annual family holiday tradition of a Christmas Carol. Now, chances are when I say the name Liz Michael, you know exactly who I'm talking about. From stage to screen and everything in between, she's been making people laugh for years. And today, we've snagged an exclusive interview with the award-winning diva herself. All right, here we are on the stage, Liz. How exciting is this? I'm always excited to be on stage, so <laughs> You are no stranger to the stage. In fact, word on the street is this is your 20th anniversary of A Christmas Carol. Yes, it is. 20 years. That's crazy. Mm -hmm. How has the show changed from once you first started doing it until right now? Uh, I've done a, a number of different adaptations, and of course this year, because we have a female Scrooge, that's totally different. Absolutely. Yeah, and that's something that the audiences definitely want to see. Mm -hmm. So, okay, this is fun for the entire family. What is so special about this show that should have people that have never seen it come out immediately and see it? Uh, the message still rings through. Uh, Charles Dickens wrote this about uh, redemption of somebody that was hard in their heart and did not love their fellow man, that did not reach out beyond the boundaries of his own realm. Right. And it shows you the humanity around and the life that's around. And, and it also uh, encourages us to take care of those that are less fortunate than ourselves, especially at this time of yeah, year. Wow. Well, wow. and, and you know, we partner with the North Texas Food Bank here, mm -hmm. correct? Yes. Okay. We've Great. raised last year, we raised over a hundred thousand dollars and were able to provide almost half a million meals for people. That's impressive. And that was our audiences just giving from their hearts. So that's the DFW community giving back. So there's music, there's dancing, there's a message, there's an opportunity to give back. There is really no reason for people not to see the show. It's fun for the whole family. Okay, so I want to know something that people watching this may not know. 20 years doing this show, there's got to be a story that's something that's crazy or something backstage that's happened. What's your favorite moment? Oh, the infamous moment. Uh, there is a moment that stands out beyond all others. I was in this beautiful costume designed by Guy Taylor, and I was coming out for the very end of the show and all of my cast members were staring at me and I'm like, why are they looking at me? Finally, somebody said, leave the stage. It seems that one of the twinkle lights in my beautiful ornate hair dress had <laughs> caught fire and my hair was billowing smoke. Oh, what so did you I, do? I ran off stage, hurled it into the wings, and walked back out in time to take my bow. <laughs> did not miss a beat, the true professional that you are. Okay, we are going to end on that bang. Thank you so much for joining us my today. My pleasure. Thank you for having me. To Brad. see Liz live on this stage and to join in on the fun, simply visit DallasTheaterCenter.org for a complete listing of show dates, times, and prices. And to learn how WFAA is elevating the arts even more, check out WFAA.com/arts. Happy holidays.